Hi, it's Sandy Parker, and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. Today we're going to make a last minute wreath for Christmas. I hope you'll stay tuned. I want to make a, a wreath that is inspired by gnomes and by snowflakes. So he is going to sit right there in the center, and then I'm going to surround him with snowflakes. But I'll show you that when I get to it. So I'm going to cover the whole wreath in this satin ribbon and I'm going to attach it with hot glue. I'll show you how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it on an angle and I want all of my seams to be on the back like that. This is the back. And then I'm going to wrap it. I have all of my, well, I have a lot of my ribbon and ball right here. And all I'm going to do is move it like this. I want to make sure that I get every, um, every piece on the back. Hopefully you can see this. I want to, you know, I want to have a little seam on the back. making sure that every time I do this I'm assured that it's going to stay in place because of the hot glue. <clears throat> well I think you got the gist of what I'm going to do here. I'm going to, you also want to pull it as tightly as possible so that when you add the next I want to make sure I, I'm not overlapping as much. And I just want to pull the next one up. So hopefully you saw those. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off screen and cover the whole wreath and I'll be back. I took a popsicle stick and I kind of shaved it down so it came to a point. And then I shoved it into the back of my um, wreath. That would make it so that our little gnome will have something to sit on and will make it so that he doesn't fall off. So I'm going to put some hot glue at the bottom of this to make sure it stays in place. And then I'm going to put hot glue on the bottom of him to make sure he stays in place. And then I'm going to put hot glue on the back of my stick, or the front of my stick, I guess is what it would be, to make sure that this little fella, and then I want to put more glue under him so we're sure he stays in place. So I'm just going to hold him for a minute. Then we're going to start with some of our different, we have different sizes of snowflakes and some of them I think will really look nice right, I think I probably should set some of these up so that we know what it's going to look like. So let's try that one there and then let me get another big one. Ooh. I painted these white and then I put um, some glue on them and then made them so that, well, once I put the glue on them, then they were ready to go and I could put the um, glitter. So once it was, once they were set up, then I glittered them up and that's, that's how we rolled. So I think let's glue these down.
now I need to do is make the bow to hang it from on the door or have these little pearls that are pins, pearls, pins that are, pearl, oh, whatever. Pins that have pearl heads. We're all on the same page now. Shaper Creeper. Sandy's losing it. Now I'm going to take my uh, length of ribbon that's probably a foot long and I'm just going to put a knot in the bottom of it. So I'm going to knot it like that. Just like this. You see that? And then I'm going to turn this little fella over and this is where our pins come in handy. I'm going to turn it around so that I can see it better. So that both of my ends don't stick out into the middle of the wreath. We need to cut that off a little. So they're going to be this long, maybe an inch long each. And we're just going to put them right like that. And then I'm going to take my pins and I'm going to make sure it's in here secure and for good. The pins are, the reason I do pins is because if right now I would decide, oh, wait a minute, I put that in the right, in the wrong place, or I don't like it, or she doesn't like it, and she wants it to look different. Like, for instance, you can still see the knot right now. So that means that they're, it's too um, high. You don't want to see your knot. So I need to cut off more of my string ribbon, not string, ribbon. I'm going to make it more like, I don't know, that much. And I'm going to put it down here. Let's get those in here again. And I'm going to put three in if I can. One closer to the knot. And the other two beside each other. I could have just hot glued it on, but if I hot glued it, I don't think it would have looked, it wouldn't be as cute. You know, when, you, when you hold it up, yeah, it looks good. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe and please tell your friends about me on social media because you know I love that and thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.